I'm going to show you how to close the fiscal year assets with the Fiori app and the transaction code FAA underscore CMP in SAP S1 Assistant. My name is Nun Dias and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in financing. I work as an SAP FICO contract. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, it's its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. I'm building a document that will become a PDF how to navigate in the SAP at a glance YouTube channel. In case you want to receive this document, please send me a message in my LinkedIn with the your email, and then I'll send back to you once it's ready. This video was not planned in the chronogram of the channel at this point in time. However, to create a fixed asset master data, I need to uh, run this transaction code or the Fiori app. I'm going to do both. In order I'm able to create the fixed asset master data. This transaction is slightly different from the version ECC. The previous version, we had the transaction code AJAP to do the fiscal year change. Here we have a new transaction code, plus we have a new Fiori app. So we are going to see both in this video. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP menu, SAP WI. So pretty simple to arrive to the transaction codes. Accounting, financial accounting, fixed assets, and then periodic processing, and then we have our lovely transaction, here and closing, which is FA underscore CMP, the new transaction of the old AJAP transaction. So we double click on this transaction, and then we are going to see this is slightly different. So these are all the company codes that have the asset or the fixed assets activated. So our company code is the D99, okay? And then what we, what we have to do uh, is to say, uh, now we have to close this per ledger, okay? So in these ledgers, I have all of these depreciation areas and zero two, I have only one depreciation area. And then we are going to the Fiori app and we are going to execute the year-end closing um, Fiori app, basically. If you go there and then execute, you need to type to find this execute slash and do, it should show up this transaction code, okay? So if you don't find it where you have it, you just type there and then you will find the transaction code. I'm going to just to open this. Now we have the same, not the same screen, but a similar screen that we have here. So here, what I'm going to do, I need to type here, what is the new year? Because I'm implementing this, we have not started yet. Okay, now we will execute the transaction code to enter. And then this is our company code. As you can see, we have nothing because we are just implementing this. And then we click there. I'm not going to save because I want to do this in the Fiori app. I'm going to save here just to demonstrate if you are using this version. So I need to, by default, the system put the year, the previous year. And then we need to click there. Okay. And then save to close. But I'm going to go get back. Change will be lost, you want to save? No. This is a demonstration. And let's go for the Fiori app to do exactly the same thing, but the new with the new technology. So I'm going to search here in the Fiori app for my company goals, G99. And hopefully we are going to find my company goals. It's there, G99. I'm going to open and I'm going to click here. I'm going to push this up. And then we need to click in change and display. So we are going to open the 2024. So our expectation is to have there 2023. And then we are going to select the entries that we want to close. 
then we click in the ledger well we have one so now we need to click there to select and then we need to close click there to close so i'm closing so everything is fine i have only the green and uh, one yellow and then i'm going to say fine and then we go here or zero two, make a tick and then click to close. Okay. And then it's done. If we go back to another company code, yes, I want to save my data. Say, okay, it's another message. So now if I go back to my company code, current fiscal year is going 2024 and now it's closed. So next year, when we move for 2025, I have already there 2024. Just to remind you that there was nothing there because, because we are doing a full life cycle implementation in this channel. Now you know how to close the assets fiscal year in the Fiori app and in the transaction code in SAP Green. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please subscribe to this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.